What's happening everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo and we are on my free to play account because I did something pretty amazing last night. So you might notice that I have an insane amount of rubies and you'll notice it says Team Relay Dungeon. And this girl that you're looking at on the screen right now is someone that helped me tremendously get this score because in the Immortal Dungeon that we currently have right now, which is Immortal Nyx, you need darkness on that first team. And luckily, Iori there has darkness as well. And Zero there actually has a leadership for both Neo Tingo and Iori, which is pretty amazing. So Neo Tingo, I said Neo Tingo the first time, didn't I? Neo Tingu has 20% PG rate in her core. And the crazy thing is the builds that I have on these characters and the fact that this account is only about three and a half months old, this is just nuts that I was able to get 500 million against this dungeon i don't even have max capsules on her she's just level 10 she has one imprint stone on her and i'm running the free to play set that you actually got from the rush event that just gives a solid i think it's 33 percent extra attack i believe is what it is yeah 33 percent extra solid attack we got a cooldown card and then we have this card here that does increase our critical rate it increases our darkness damage dealt by 25% and then increases critical damage by 15%. It's a good set to add a lot of CP, but losing that cooldown actually isn't good because whenever you lose cooldown in these dungeons, you're actually decreasing your PG rate because, or your PG gain more or less, because you're not running through your skills as often, especially when they're awakened, but it's fine. Well, actually it's not so bad when it's awakened, but when it's not awakened and you're just hitting the skill and you just, you're waiting and waiting, waiting before you can do your skills again, it's kind of a pain. And then of course we got our three PGs. And, you know, Neo Tengu's 3PG does give her an extra attack after she uses, uses it, which is really, really awesome. And, you know, the fact that, you know, I have three characters that are three star. I have two characters that are level 10 in Neo Tengu and Kazumi here, which is pretty cool. And I got the DOA 6 collaboration set on Kazumi. And then I also had, got lucky and I ended up getting this card here. Or, yeah, this card, which actually decreases your skill cooldown and increases your attack by 5%. And HP by 5%, which is really nice. The power gain isn't useful at all in this specific dungeon. In the Immortal Victor, it would be, but not in this specific dungeon. It just doesn't get it done. But Kazumi does have the decreased damage received, which does help her survivability uh, big time. Plus, you know, both the DOA 6 collaboration characters got that core passive with a 30% decreased damage received, which really, really helps. Kazumi will probably die more than likely in the run that I'll show you. Uh, because this guy does do a lot of damage. He's, he's one of the harder ones to get it done with. And as far as the rest of the builds, I just got, you know, a Kula set on Zero here. I have a Mad Tea Party set on Iori. I mean, nothing really too special. Ignis here. I got a freaking, look at this, look at this. You know... This is not an ideal set for Ignorance at all. This is a terrible set. But on my free-to-play account, I just don't have many card sets at all, so I just got to make do with what I have. But this here just increases your attack equal to 40% of defenses. And, you know, he is a balanced type fighter. I mean, he does get okay defenses. But honestly, an attack set would be so much better. And then I got a Kula card just for extra damage. And, oh man, you know what? This cooldown card isn't even leveled up. So I didn't even have his cooldown card leveled up whenever I did this. So we're actually going to be gaining a little bit of cooldown compared to when I did that 500 million run. Okay, so there I got the card completely leveled up. I just went ahead and edited all that out so you guys are watching all that pain. But yeah, we're just going to be using the Kula set, which again isn't the ideal set for him. And oh yeah, he only has uh, one imprint stone. Most of these characters only got one imprint stone, except for Zero, Iori, and Kyo. Uh, they will have, I believe, three. We got two imprint stones on Zero, but not even fully maxed out. And then... Iori has three imprint stones maxed out, and Kyo's going to have three imprint stones maxed out. He's got the Akane set on him. So, I mean, it's not a complete optimally built uh, team by any means, but let's see if we can hit that 500 million right now. I was so impressed last night. You know, for a three and a half old month account, uh, it's just amazing uh, what these characters are doing, man. And getting these DOA 6 collaboration characters really did help. Because before I got like 340 million. Let's do it. Alright. And see this is what I mean with the cooldowns for Neo Tingo. You're just kind of 
Waiting and waiting and waiting. There we go. Yeah, all right, we'll apply as much darkness as possible. I mean, even when the skills are awakened. There we go, perfect. Now we'll just switch to Yori, apply some more darkness. And now we're in our little rotation as far as doing our three PGs. Oh my God, did you see that? Eori's 2PG got canceled early. What the hell? Now we don't want to do Eori's default. That thing's way too short. Oh, you bastard. Jumping down, slamming down. There we go. Hopefully it doesn't uh, get canceled early again. That sucked. Nice, nice. The game really is at a point where you're better off just going for SS, BS, and collaboration characters than anything. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't want to use my awakened skill. I don't want to use my awakened skill. There we go. We want to spam that thing afterwards. Perfect. There we go, there we go. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I tell you what, man, the focus is on, the focus is on. Get him, girl. And honestly, you know, like, we say it all the time with these characters. But the fact, you know, just being level 10 and having this kind of survivability really is crazy. I mean, it's, 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 it's pretty wild. Now there, I screwed up because I actually hit Iori's 3PG myself. So I can't use the other character's skills, which sucks. I totally screwed up there. Probably could have got a little bit more damage. But that's all right. That's all right. Come on, 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 come on. Mmm, boy, oh boy, boy, boy. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get that 3PG up. There we go. And... Perfect, perfect. Cosme should be doing her 3PG right after this. Perfect, perfect. I do believe, hopefully, we will be able to do this. We don't even have max cooldown on these cards, which is nuts. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Helps to hit the target, Ignitz. There we go, buddy. Come on, 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 come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Cosme died. And... It doesn't look like we're going to hit it this time. And so, I mean, 449 million. I actually was trying to hit the pause button, but I've kind of missed it. But that's fine. 449 million, but... You know, I hit 500 million with this team, man, which is pretty crazy. That wasn't the best run. That one 3PG got interrupted. Uh, well, Iori's 3PG got canceled there. That screwed me up a little bit. Cosme died a little early, which kind of sucked. I mean, so 
it happens, man. You know, level 10 character, but the fact that they were able to do that good, that's pretty impressive. And I did get the 500 million, as y'all saw. So. But extremely impressive by that team. That's just nuts, man, to be able to do that. Uh, so, so happy. Gained a lot, a lot of rubies from those guys. So the next thing that we want to chat about is this right here, which is pretty freaking amazing, guys. I really love that they did this. I really love that they did this for K. And now they do this for Kula. But something you might notice is very different from K's is that you're seeing an extra skill, which is different from K's. If I pull up K's right now, uh, you can actually tell that he's only got three skills. Whereas Kula actually has, it looks like she has four skills. And if you take a look at Kula, you will, know, you will notice some resemblances between her skills. So we go into the skill preview here, right? She, her first skill, counter shell, I'll go ahead and take this off real so quick. The counter shell skill looks like the second skill from the right. So she's probably going to have a skill that's going to be similar to this one right here where it shoots a little ice beam. Well, not an ice beam, but a little uh, ice projectile across the screen, which is that's pretty wild. And then on her and then all the way to the right looks like the ice coffin which is pretty much this skill here, which has been a bane of many people's existence. Uh, that skill was devastating back in the day. My God, I hated playing her in PvP, especially when she got that 3PG. The Ice Coffin, I mean, people would just sit back and wait and time that coffin and pretty much screw you, not to mention all the extra damage that damn thing does. But then uh, Kula's second skill, Lay Spin, actually, it looks like the third skill from the left in this picture i mean it, it, it so i mean and this is one where she kind of goes across she hits him and she has a chance to freeze them so maybe she'll have something like that so they're keeping things pretty similar now her last skills do look a little bit different the one all the way to the left and the one second from the left you know she's doing a freeze breath and one second from the left it's gonna be interesting to see and then the third one from the right I'm not really sure what those are going to be because her ultimates look different than those skills. They look different, which is pretty interesting. Now her freeze breath in this skill here, the second from the left. I mean, we've seen that before in other versions of Kula where she actually, you know, shoots out. She freezes them by breathing on them. We've seen that before. The one all the way to the left looks like she's going to be sliding across the screen. Uh, Interesting. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Pretty damn cool. I mean, I, I really love the uh, artwork in this picture. And you can bet we're going to be seeing some similar skills, especially if we're, you know, when we're comparing them to the Fest version of Kula that we already have in the game. So it's really, really exciting. I mean, I'm excited for K and Kula. I can't wait to see uh, what we're going to be getting. Hopefully, we'll also be getting a lot of new content. We know that episode two is coming, but you know, it can't all be about characters. You know, we need to see some content to really help the game's survivability because if they just, you know, keep bringing in characters and characters and characters, that's not going to get it done, my friends. You got to have content. You got to give us reasons to level up characters and level up multitude of characters because currently right now on my free-to-play account, I'm pretty much just leveling up only SS, BS, and collaboration characters for the most part. I mean, there's some exceptions to the rule. You know, we got Big there and Leona and Guinness. But for the most part, that's pretty much what I'm leveling up. You know, a lot of our other characters have become, well, much less important. Uh, we really don't need them except for maybe like some extra supports, maybe in the Immortal Dungeons. But I would argue that maybe not if you level up your SS and BS and collaboration characters. And it's a lot easier to level up collaboration characters other than the SS versions of them. But I am excited. I am stoked. And I'm really excited that I was able to hit that 500 million in Immortal Nyx with my free-to-play account that's about three and a half months old which is just insane so let me know how y'all feeling about kula and i do stream on twitch at 9 p.m gmt plus seven time the link will be in the description below and i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching y'all take care and have a good one see ya